All right, next on the bench, we get a skinny boy. <clears throat> uh, not making full power, so we're going to go ahead and get the tin off of it and uh, crack her open, go through it, do a visual inspection, and uh, then run some tests. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Well, I'm finding some damage right there. It's a dent in the case. If you look here, the case is bowed out. Uh, bolt's been sheared off. It's been that way for a while. See how this screw is longer than the other screws? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's uh, it sounded like something's rattling around loose in here too. So, a couple more screws, and we'll get that tin off and uh, have a gander. Okay, it's also damaged there. It looks like it's been dropped. Moment of truth. Well. see anything really busted up in there so that's good all right catch me in a little bit okay so <clears throat> before we do anything we want to test these tubes and <clears throat> the guy that owns the skinny boy also owns this so this takes a single 250b tube and uh we just powdered it up and run a baseline test. We're getting 450 watts PEP. So it's using that radio. Two watts in, swing into 12. So our baseline is 450 watts. So we're going to get the, the uh, cover off of that. Discharge it, pull the tube, um, make sure that's discharged, pull a tube. We're going to put a little reference mark on that tube there so we know which one, so we don't get them mixed up. And we'll get the test in the tubes in the same. And we'll be back. Okay, so the first tube we're testing. Audio. 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 Just a hair over 500. So that's actually putting out more than the tube that was in there. So, we'll set that tube bleed off, or let the uh, tube cool down and let the power bleed off. And, uh, We'll get to test in tube number two. Yay! Okay, so we're checking tube number two. Audio. 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 About the same. Five and a quarter. So those two tubes are putting out some power. So I guess we'll... Uh, that tube back in there after it cools down and uh, bring this thing online on the variac first and uh, check it out see what all it does catch me in a bit okay got the uh, skinny boy in warm-up mode there it's been on for a little bit and uh, yeah we're getting ready to uh, Turn on the high voltage. Audio, 
Gloria. So we'll have to we'll let the voltage bleed off, let her cool down, and we'll go through and check it out and see what we can find. But yeah, something cut loose in there. Catch me later. Okay, so we're retesting both the tubes, um, making sure one of them didn't have a flash over. So. That's what we're testing it with. The high voltage going to that is 1,750 volts. So, in case some of you say, oh, that should put out more than 525. Yes, it could, but the plate voltage is low. So, we only get five and a quarter. All right. Let's put the cover on it and warm it up and test this tube. If they both test good still, we're going to check for high voltage at the tubes. The way it uh, was acting, because I was getting a little bit of power out, the tuning load was kind of working. I wasn't really getting any amplif amplification. Um, so that usually happens when you don't have the high voltage to the tubes. So we'll be testing stuff like that here in a minute. Stay tuned. Okay, so we had high, we tested the, t retested the tubes. They tested good. Still making five and a quarter. No signs of a flashover inside the tubes or anything. Uh, we tested the high voltage. We tested the doorknob capacitor. Then we tested uh, with our handy dandy thermal gun. We tested the temperature of the tubes, and they weren't getting hot. So, that's a 6 volt filament transformer made by Radio Shack. Uh, it was actually set to where it would only turn on when you turn on the high voltage. Yeah, that was stupid. So, um, we're going to wire this direct to the power switch. So when you turn the power on, the filaments will warm up and you don't have to have the high voltage on at the same time. So before we do that though, we're going to strip this in and we're going to test the uh, ohms of the primary winding here. And uh, we should have some ohms resistance. If it's open, then we know the transformer shot, and we'll have to replace the tranny. Yeah. So stay tuned. We're going to get on this and get her done. OK, 
Okay, so we rewired it so it's hot with the power switch. Um, we tested the windings. We had uh, ohms resistance. So we went ahead and wired it. Uh, turned it on, checked the voltage, and I've got voltage going in there. A little bit on the stump side. I ran it long enough, the tube should have been definitely hot. And your ice cold on the top. But this bend in the case is bugging me. So I'm going to go ahead and try to squish that back into shape. Then we're going to figure out why the hell our tubes aren't getting warm. It warmed up and worked in that little boot. So, I don't know. We'll get her traced out. I'll be back. Okay, let's recap from yesterday. All right, right there we have 335 volts DC at that resistor. Then it goes out to uh, some dropping resistors and to pin one. Okay, that's the screen. Screen's supposed to have about 350 volts going to it. Uh, after these dropping resistors, this one here has a bad resistor. It's uh, got a piece blown out of it. But yeah, I've only got like four volts going down to the actual pins. There was no reason for those dropping resistors to be in there. I'm going to go right from that point to pin one on both of those tubes, and then we're going to see what it does. So, catch me in a few. We're going to do some more rewiring. Okay, we've been warming it up. We're going to bring on the high voltage and stuff. Once we hit the foot pedal, in theory, it should shoot that 300 and some volts into the screen. And the tube should excite at that point. So, wish me luck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're amplifying. Now this is fixed. <clears throat> okay. The other problem with the tube socket's not connecting, so the tubes won't get any warm. We fixed that. Then I don't know if you can see that. It's blown on the side there. But you don't want these stupid things in here anyway. That's why it wasn't putting out enough power right there. Not enough screen voltage for proper excitation. Problem solved by Psychotech Labs. There you go. This thing is doing 1400 watts. Feels good now. And I got a million screws to put back in this bad boy. Thanks for watching my video, everyone. Have a good day from Psychotech Labs, where the psychos go.